Hello and welcome back to Feed the Beast with Brio Boy. Since last episode, I went on a little bit of an adventure, and I found lots and lots of beehives of all different shapes and sizes. Well, really, they're actually all exactly the same shape and the same size, but different colours at least. I also, on my travels, came across a village, as you'll see me here doing. I went absolutely nuts. If you could hear me right now, I would sound something like this. Ah! So there we go. I was walking around the village, and I saw a big blue tree. I was very intrigued, so I went over to investigate. It had these funny blue flowers that grew underneath it. I was going to look into those later. But then I got sidetracked by a village argument, and by the looks of things, some apiaries in the village's garden. Looks like they were growing bees as well. I couldn't reach the other one, so I had to go in and say hello. Turns out that was a complete waste of time, because they were doing exactly the same thing. I also came across some skeletons having a little party. There were quite a few of them, and it was quite hard to defeat them all. But luckily, I had my mining laser and my trusty old nano suit. And also, a creeper came along to help me in the last stages of my battle. And that was me afterwards. That was quite an adventure. Cool. Anyways, with all those bees and cool stuff, I've sort of stored them mainly in my chest over here but also I found other things like steel boots and a steel pickaxe I found honeycomb weird sorts of honeycomb anyway in this episode I'm gonna be teaching you how to make a bealizer and do other cool things so first of all what you want to do is not use your carpenter. Actually, I think it is. So yeah, it is your carpenter. So just destroy the carpenter to reset it. Plonk it back down. Let's get some water in it. Using some tin. Now, what we're going to do now is put the. You can't just craft the bealizer like you can craft something normally. You have to actually craft it within the um sent not the century within the carpenter it's weird but that's sort of the case quite often i think in in this mod so there we go let's just quickly come back here and give a little bit of water in the water goes just like that and then you put glass panes here and here oh there and there then you put the diamond there. Then we put the redstone here and here. This is why I needed that extra tin. <laughs> um, hold on, I think there might be some in the uh, in the chest. Oh, there we go. Plenty of tin. Now, oh, it's a bit laggy. Let's see if we can get this up and running. So the tin goes like this. I keep right clicking, you've really got to stop doing that. So now I simply power up the carpenter. I turn that off again. <laughs> there we go. And what this will do is it will create the bealizer for us. Now something else we're going to need to do is create something called... I think it's like a bee locator or something. It essentially tells you where the best sort of place to find bees is. So, let's go make that. Okay, these chunks need loading. <laughs> right, let's go and make this thing then. All we need is the bronze, that's all we're coming here for. Now this, this is really useful. I'll show you why, once you've got a few more bees. There we go. 
I don't get a lag stopped all of a sudden. It's weird, isn't it? Well, not completely, but it's gone down. Anyway, <laughs> what you do is you simply make a compass, but instead of using iron, you use bronze. And this gives you, yeah, that's it, habitat locator. So it acts as a compass like this, but what you need to do is put a bee inside it. Oh, let me get out of my own house with a little bit of its honey so that will tell you sort of where the bee can like be found and where it can't be found so let's just get in here go to sleep on my travels I did actually have to sort of ditch a bunch of my wool that I found to make a bed so hopefully I've got a bit of wool left here do I? no okay don't worry we'll just have to do it at night time so now we need to make a centrifuge and the way you do that is you make some more sturdy metal casing sturdy casing oh I need to get more bronze hold the phone I'm just gonna get a little bit more bronze I right, got myself a stack that should do me fine okay now you just make the sturdy casing as ever Now, I think, to make the centrifuge, hmm, let's see if we can, whoop, my steam there, let's see if we can look it up, centrifuge, will it work, yeah, so it's just glass and bronze, I swear, oh it's copper, sorry, not bronze, copper, so, as ever, I'm just going to go and get myself a little bit more copper, because I'm incredibly unprepared. Right, I've got myself some copper and some glass, so now let's make this thing. I was going to say, like I swear, this is the recipe for everything in this mod. Like just glass there, sturdy metal casing in the middle, and like copper or... Actually, I think there's different materials here that make these machines. Oh yeah, that's it, because for the squeezer it's tin, for the carpenter it's, it's bronze and all sorts, I see. So let's plonk this puppy down here. They all look very similar, don't they? Take away that engine. Take away that lever. Now we can hopefully plonk that engine back on top of here. And put the lever back as well. Just a leg as well. So it all looks very symmetrical, doesn't it? And then what you do is you obviously power up the uh, sterling engine. Then you get some of your, your like honeycomb. Let's just use the regular honeycomb. And I got this from destroying all those beehives, by the way, whatever they're called. I think they're called beehives, yeah. I mean, before you've actually turned them into an aviary, they're called beehives. Anyway, so let's turn on the lever. Turn on the engine at the same time. God, isn't that great? You can turn on levers and engines at the same time nowadays. So there we go, the honeycomb will slowly turn into honey. And I think it's like a honey droplet and honey dust or something like that something along those lines so wait for that to do its thing um, in the meantime I'm going to make some more aviaries because I've got some more impregnated uh, housing whatever it's called impregnated casing that's it so oh, I'm so sorry about this lag it's terrible isn't it there we go let's get this up and running okay and then we pop that there apiary I keep calling it aviaries as well it's really really annoying me <laughs> apiary 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 so over and over again fermenters look like this as well jeez can't we really think of anything more original anyway there we go honey drop and beeswax that's it so now what you do is you simply get a bee I think that creates that honey so that's like a um, probably like a forest drone would do that maybe or maybe a no, Water Queen, that didn't work, did it? So maybe, let's use a... Let's use a Marble Drain, see if that works. So you right click on the Habitat Locator. You put in your Marble Drone here. And you put in your Honey Drop up here. And there we go, Marble Drone. So it shows you, you can sort of find it in these places. Um, What's going on here? Yeah, you can find them in plains, ocean, hills, you have to click on them, forest, 
and the end as well. You can't find it in Taiga, I'm guessing that's snowy, jungle, hell, mushroom, snow, or desert or something. So that's pretty cool. So there's the habitat locator. And let's see if our BLIs is done yet. Why is this not working? It's got everything it needs right here. Hmm. What's going on here? Missing resources. Are there? More resources need to be supplied for operation. It's got everything it needs right here. Hmm. Right, got some more resources, so you've got no excuse now, Carpenter. If you don't work, then there can't be missing resources. This is absolutely plenty. Come on. Come on. Maybe it's more water. I reckon it's more water. Let me just create an infinite water source real quick. And, um, yeah, then we can hopefully get this thing going. Right, let's see if we can top this thing up then with a little bit more water. Maybe this will do it. I don't know. Maybe it needs to be full. Oh, yeah, there we go. Fantastic. Look at that. So this is now making our Bealyzer. Plenty of resources here. That wasn't the problem. It was just the fact that it needed more water. Maybe it needs more water still, actually. More water still. Water still. Sounds like some... I don't know. Chinese actress's name. Water still. <laughs> Maybe not. <laughs> okay. So hopefully this will craft our Bealyzer. So for the meantime, I'm just going to put all my bees into the apiarist chest. Look at all these bees. Brilliant. Oh. 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 There we go, Bealyzer. Brilliant. So this works in a very similar way. You just have to go out and get the bee you want to analyze. Or analyze, depending on how you say it. I say analyze because it reduces the temptation of thinking of uh, queer connotations. But there we go. Marshy Princess takes it down to here, and it gives you all of it, all of her stats. So this is pretty cool. I mean, you know, you can see its lifespan, speed, pollen. I'm not sure what that is. What's this? Oh, well, there we go. So you can see different sort of statistics on it. So you've got nocturnal. If it's a flyer. Possible produce. Ah, so this is what gave me that um, green sort of stuff. What it's called go. This is pretty cool, that is. You know, the Bealyzer. Um, let's see how this is going. There we go, this is finished. So, now we've got a Meadows drone and a Meadows princess. Now, what you can do is you can crossbreed these bees. So, we can get, like, a Meadows princess and ideally we'd have, like, a forest drone because they use the same kind of um, flowers. A marshy drone. We've got Meadows drone or we could use a forest princess. Do we have a forest princess? Hmm. There we go. Forest princess. So let's try a forest princess and a meadows drone and see what happens. So these are the same types of flowers, so that's no problem. So we're going to get here. Forest queen. Okay. Mission is only possible during the day. Okay. Well, luckily it now is daytime, so there we go. By the powers of video and magic and lying. <laughs> we've got the forest queen and obviously you know you can have as many of these as you like so off camera after this I'm probably just gonna add a bunch of apiaries lots of flowers and see how many bees I can create so there may be more bee tutorials but that's the, you know that's the, really the that's all, all you need to know I mean there are some sort of things where you can automate um, bees going in or something but I'll look um, I'll look into that a little bit more so thanks for watching if this helped don't forget to like comment rate and subscribe I'll see you next time. Bye.